A license to slay hermits from the government of the Hermitcraft server. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today, we slay some hermits. Those are beehives, but hermits. And guys, I've been doing some stuff. I've been doing some stuff. You can see in the back here, we got more animals. We got more nether wart, some bamboo there, sugar cane. Things are looking up. We all, oh yeah, we also got nether access. Look at that. Beautiful nether portal popped up. That's fantastic. Dang it, Jevin left the game. That's fine, though, because that gives us more time to prep. Check it out, guys. We got a care package. Jevin back. We got a care package for a hermit. I've decided we're going to use some firework stars to try and slay a hermit, because each break of these firework stars, if I get one of these out, uh, does additional damage. So we can put up to seven breaks in a single firework, and then this firework will do massive damage to whoever it hit. Well, let me set this up here. I gotta find somebody first. We'll try and f see if we can find Jevin. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna try and slay a hermit today, guys. That is our goal. Ladies and gentlemen, target acquired. Jevin has been spotted. So we're gonna wait here. We're gonna scope out the area a little bit. We gotta make sure he doesn't see us. All right, I don't know where... Oh, there he is, okay. Yeah, he's got no idea, guys. He's got no idea. What is he even doing? He's just looking at his horse. I have deep, deep in thought right now as the sun sets over the Hermitcraft server. By the way, beautiful sunset tonight. We gotta remain in the shadows, though. We're a little bit exposed up here. I think I need to, like, dig underneath. And then, like, pop out the side of this thing. Yeah, we got the perfect vantage point. Look at Jevin go. Look at him riding his horse around, testing the speed. We see you, Jevin. We see you. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Oh, I see we see him again. Okay. Where is he headed? Okay, he has some chests down there. We could trap those. He's riding through the night, though. There's a lot of mobs out. All right, new approach, guys. What if we just got a bunch of creepers and other mobs... And just drew him toward iJevin's area, and then just hoped for the best. That would count as a kill, right? I think it would. So let's just bring these guys over here. There we go. Have them keep coming. Have them keep coming. And then once they get close to this area, we bail, but we don't leave the area. We're going to put him... I wonder if we can get him to, like, fall into this area. There we go. One's in. Oh, we got another one. Let's go. All right, we got two creepers in there, guys. Two creepers. That should be enough. Now we just got to sit and wait for Jevin to come by. I think I may s just take out this guy. Just so he doesn't cause issues. Okay, there we go. Hopefully there's no more around. But now, we take out this guy. We take out this guy. Yeah. I think we should have two in there. Yep, there's two in there. Okay, so now we sit and we wait. Oh, and don't get blown up ourselves. Buy some creepers nearby. Okay. Come on down, guy. There we go. Okay. So, we are just going to sit here and wait. I guess, like, we'll find a good spot. Like, maybe behind this tree is good. Yeah. Like, right here. Should be a pretty good spot, I think. Oh, except maybe not there. There we go. Put this above us. Alright, so now we're just going to sit here and wait. So guys, we're just staking out this area. Going to be here potentially for a while. We'll see. But we're basically waiting until Jevin comes by, rides his horse into the hole, and then potentially explodes uh, once that happens. Because his chest stuff is here. The creepers are in there. Now we're just waiting. Oh, here he is, here he is, here he is. Oh, he's gonna ride right into him. Here we go. Oh, he didn't he didn't go in. Oh, he saw him. He saw him. We've been foiled.
We've been foiled, guys. The plan didn't work. Dang it. So guys, Jevin might have escaped our grasp there, but that's okay. Uh, in the meantime, I've been working down here on a skeleton farm. Check this out. If I bust in here... Yep, we got skeletons who are now infighting amongst one another. That's awesome. <laughs> you love to see it. Uh, but yeah, they spawn in there, as you just saw. They drop in, and they, they shoot you if you, ha if you have this open, so... We keep it closed, but basically a water stream takes them up, or a water column takes them up, bubble column. They drop down here, and then... Skadoosh. We take them out. We take them out. Everything filters down into here. I do need to put a crafter on this, because, yeah, we can craft up bone into bone meal, and then bone meal into bone blocks now, so... This thing's gotta be crafterified. Everything's gotta be crafterified now, which is fantastic. Uh, I've also been using the levels we're getting from this to upgrade our gear, not our iron gear, obviously. We got diamond gear back at the base, we gotta enchant. But we got some uh, decent pickaxe action now, uh, decent axe, and this looting two sword, so... And also a power three bow, so not too bad. Plus, next to this skeleton farm, there is also an amethyst geode. Uh, we found this cave when mining the other day. Uh, there's a cave that actually goes back that direction, so... Pretty nifty here, so... Yeah, this will be a very rudimentary and very easy to access XP farm for us, but there are too many Reapers on the server, guys. We need to start slaying some of these alive people. We need to start slaying some of these alive people. So we're going to head out. We're going to grab some of those resources I picked up earlier. We're going to go back out now that we've made this farm, and we're going to slay ourselves a hermit. Mr. Tango of the Technologies. What's up, man? Hey, Cobb. How you doing? Hey. I'm building. I'm building. How you doing? I see it. I see that. Very nice. Very cool. It's getting there. Very so large. A lot of detail to do. Yeah, yeah. A, lot, a, lot, a lot of nice use of the uh, new tough blocks, I see. Yeah, yeah. Getting there. Very cool. Very cool. I like what it. What are you up to? I'm going trapping, man. I'm going trapping. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Get them. We re re we hit, we hit tab, and it's like just nothing but red. So I just wanted to be to sure it, this yeah. is not a structure I have to, uh, to trap, so I'm going to go try and trap multiple people's bases. Do you know of anybody <laughs> who has a base with a... Ooh. A door, maybe over here, pearlescent moon, like pearl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right, pearl's not dead yet. I think she's still alive. Yep. Okay. You know of anybody else who's still alive? I know Gem is still alive. Uh, Gem is still alive. Scar is still alive. Oh, B right. Dubs is still alive. Okay, so quite I, a few. I, I, quite a few. I go for that. I go for them. Yeah. You go for them. Okay. They they did pay me off. They did pay me off to not kill them. Uh, but I think that that's oh, expired. See. That's expired. Twenty four yeah, I mean, hours on that. Really, they, they, you can't you can't be that generous. Twenty four hours is it's plenty. I'm gonna go check out the area. Thank you so much, Tango. I'll yep. see you soon. All right. Good luck. You know what, guys? We're gonna trap both Pearl's base and B Dubs and Scar's area, but with two completely separate traps. Uh, so if we make our way in here, Pearl's the only one I've seen with a door. So this is the only place where this one will actually work. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do here. So we need, first of all, to hope that Pearl did not log off in here, which is very possible, but, uh, yeah, hopefully not. Uh, anyways, yeah, we'll put a dispenser like this. Gonna put a block back here, like this. Gonna place a redstone torch right there. Gonna place a dust on top like that. Make sure that's closed. There we go. Okay, so uh, out here, we're going to have a pressure plate in front of the door because we don't have a skulk sensor yet. And then we basically run that pressure plate to the uh, to the door here. We're also going to replace that so that the fireworks shoot off right here next to her. And we're going to have a piston that shoots up right here. All right, guys, so we've now trapped Pearlescent Moon's base. Here's the trap itself. So, Pearl comes in. Her house here looks exactly the same. She walks in. Gets trapped here by a block. And then there's dispensers here, which are going to be full of these Flight Duration 1 7 break rockets, which hopefully will slay her. But we will see. Uh, pretty straightforward trap. Just relies on the torch burnout mechanic. So, if you don't know what this is, whenever the torch gets an update here, because it should be, like, powering itself, it quickly pulses on and off eight times. Now, this trap obviously does require that Pearl have logged out outside, <laughs> and also that the door be closed, but otherwise, I think it's not too bad of a trap. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and put in these fireworks here. We're going to put in 
I think five fireworks and five fireworks. I think that should be enough. So that'll be a lot of firepower right there in quick succession. So that should work. Uh, we're going to make sure everything is updated here. Nothing else needs to be done, I don't think. So, yeah, I think this trap is done. And look who else logged on. A one Mr. B00. Perhaps we pay him a visit as well. All right, guys, so here's the plan. For the trap at B-Dubs and Scar's area, both of whom are online now, we're going to first try and maybe get a kill with these firework rockets, right? We got five left over. Maybe we can catch them off guard with these by, like, digging underneath of them and then shooting them up above us, something like that. If that doesn't work, we got the backup plan, which is TNT minecarts attached to a rail with a trapped chest. Uh, this is not trapped chest, is it? Uh, hold on. We can make it a trap chest. Now it is a trap chest. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so we can replace one of their chests with a trap chest, put a powered rail line with TNT minecarts on it underneath, and then just hook up a uh, pulse length in there to that to make sure that the minecart, you know, comes from far away and then crashes into them. That could be really cool as well. So those are our two options with B-dubs and Scar. Let's see if we can find them. They're out here somewhere, I think just beyond this hill, and see if we can slay them. Just as I suspected, the Moss Man has returned. Let's see if we can somehow sneak up on him a little bit. Maybe like by digging in underneath this hill, because I don't think he spots us from here. Because we're way, way far away with the spyglass. Let's bury our horse here. Or not bury it, but bury a spot for it so it doesn't move. We'll sneak on in here. There we go. And let's see if we can go in a little covert operation over to see old B-dubs here. I don't see him. I'm making a break for it. Perfect. He's lit up this area. That's what we like to see. Ladies and gentlemen, B00, less than 10 blocks away at this point. As you can see, hopefully, yeah, there's his name. He is actually underground, and apparently there's like a staircase or something here. He's going up. Trying to break the blocks when he makes sound. Maybe we can get over to like the room that's over here. Right here, right here, right here. This is it, this is it, this is it. He comes down here. We can hit him right here. He should walk right past us. Here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. Dang it! Foiled again! Impossible! He's the unkillable B-dubs! Oh my god! Oh jeez! Come on! I can't believe it! He made it out alive yet again! Look at him dancing around over there. I thought we had him. I thought we had him, not gonna lie guys. That was a close one. He had to have been pretty close to death, although the f he went like two chests over from where I shot the fireworks off at, so I think that was the difference. I'm sure he took some damage, but yeah, unfortunately, was not to be. There was also a block placed down. I don't know if I placed that or if he placed that, uh, which also might have blocked a little bit of the damage uh, from going to him, but dang it. Okay, well, we still got Scar. We can try and take out Scar or set a trap uh, with these TNT minecarts. Yeah, this is definitely Scar's area here. You can tell from the uh, salmon here, this guy. Uh, so I'm assuming this is Scar's area, and this is his stuff, I would guess. 
Uh, so, yeah, basically we're going to dig out a couple blocks here, place down the powered rail, and set this trap up. Alright guys, so we got ourselves a trap on Scar here. So we got his furnaces here, and here is the trap. You open this, this turns on the rail line, and there will be TNT minecarts on the rail line. Uh, and so I also have a pulse extender attached to this, which keeps the rail line powered for long enough for the TNT minecarts to come down. And they derail here, and then they run into each other and explode. At least that's the idea. So I can just demonstrate this with a regular minecart. Uh, so... Scars here. Obviously, all this is covered in with uh, with dirt like this. Let's actually do that right now. Bada bing. Bada boom. There we go. Okay, so then he opens this. Minecart comes down, and the TNT minecarts at the end here will derail and explode. So that is how that one works. Uh, let's just get back out here real quick. So... Right here, this guy, this guy, and then let's go ahead and put down these TNT minecarts. This is actually kind of a dangerous thing to do when you got to stack these, but there's only three of them because that's all we could afford. But there we go. There's three TNT minecarts right there. So now we just sit back with our spyglass. I'm going to get into a position somewhere up there, and we sit back and wait. This is a perfect spot. I'm staking this out. I want to see this. Certainly this gets a kill. The grass is almost regrown. I'm gonna get some more peanuts. I might be here a while. No, 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 no. This is not happening. This is not happening. This is not happening. Wandering Treader literally spawns in. Right when Scar logs back in. We can't have this. He's gonna be here any minute. What do you got, guy? Anything good? Anything good. Not Well, Blue Ice is not bad. Sea Pickle is not bad either. At this stage in the game. But dang it, dude. Get out of here. He's going to see you, and then he's going to see me. Oh, my gosh. No shot, man. All right, we're waiting for him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're over an hour in now. I moved up again another block to where we were initially. And I think this just gives us a better vantage point. We're more likely to be seen here, but I think it'll be okay. Oh, 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 oh. It's him. It's him. It's him. There he is. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Yep. That's definitely the good time. He's in... Oh, he's in iron. Oh, look out. He does have a shield, though, which can block the explosion. Oh, my God. This is so sad. I'm so sorry, Scar. Oh, boy. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh... Okay, he walked past it. Okay, those are the regular chests. The che the trap chest is right here on his left. I don't know if he noticed it or not. Oh, okay, now he's crafting. Back to the other chest. Did he notice the trapped one? I don't know if he did or not. Oh, he has another chest. Did not try to combine that chest with the trap chest. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I thought he was going to click it there. Oh, oh, did he click it? No. Oh my gosh, my heart is pounding. My heart is pounding, Scar, just click the chest. Click the chest, it's right there. How has he not clicked it yet? He's clicked, to, that's, that's another chest. To the left. Oh, this is so tense. To the left, Scar. To the left. Just once. Maybe he maybe he recognized it. He didn't do it. He didn't click it. Oh. He saw us. Oh, he sees us! <laughs> what is that texture? <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> what is that texture on those spy glasses? No, no, you take your red name out of here. I, I've got business with the wandering trader man. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's all good. I just wanted to see what was going on over here, man, with your glasses. I, I don't trust the word. I don't trust the word. Dude, did the wandering trader give me away? I knew he was going to give me away. Oh, really? Were you, were you in cahoots with him? Yeah, he spawned on top of me, man. He he, he oh, betrayed really? me. He betrayed me. He doesn't oh, have anything man. good. 
<laughs> are you are you feeling good about are you feel good good about your chances in demise? How are you feeling about that? Uh. Not, not, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the way you said that was like your chances and your eyebrows like slightly raised and I'm just like, oh my god. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm working through it. Uh, B I, you know, I feel B-dubs is a strong contender for the winner there. Dude, B-dubs. He, he evaded death today. I gotta give him to him. All I had was stone. Because I hadn't... I, what are you doing with that block, mister? <laughs> <clears throat> Sneaky guy with that. You put that away. <clears throat> what? Don't what? What? You, mister, you can't even control yourself with all your your block placements. Don't your worry things. about it. I need to get a kill, man. I need to get a kill. <laughs> you do need to get a kill. Well, go kill b -dubs. I tried twice now. Both times thwarted. Thwarted by the b -dubs. That's okay. I got some, uh... uh yeah, I got some things coming. All right, you That's got some good. stuff coming. All right, all right, all right. That's all good. All right, well, I'll leave you to it, Scar. Are you building something here soon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon, soon. Nice. I just need to go to the nether and get that stuff. Uh, I need black stone, and I need a um, tiny bit of bath salt, and I need a ton of deep sleep. What was the other thing? You need basalt? Basalt, black stone, and deep sleep. Oh, uh -huh, okay. Yeah. And yeah. I need cobble. And I need cobble. to make like 32 levers. Here, I'll give you what I got on me. I got 11 cobble. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's, what, that's all I got. All right, man. I'll uh, talk with you soon then. All right. Bye see you. Bye. <laughs> He's still looking at me as I go away. All right, guys. I don't. Ah! Oh! <laughs> we got him! <laughs> oh no! Oh my! Oh the humanity! <laughs> Dude, I don't know if he saw it or... <laughs> oh no! 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 Where is he? Oh, the salmon head! Save the salmon head! For God's sake, save the salmon head. If nothing else. Where's the stuff? Alright, alright. Uh, my stuff is not here. <laughs> oh! Uh, God, I've been sp I spent two days gathering all that! Yeah, that that is my bad. Uh, I didn't expect it to be this big of a hole here, but but on the bright side, my stuff, Cub. Yeah, you still got some stuff. You still got some stuff. The mangrove woods here, at least. But all my all my other stuff gone. But you're on oh. the dead team, so. Think, think about that. Think of the positives here, Scar. Right. Cub, I knew it was a trap, and I was <laughs> mocking you the whole time. And I was like, look at this. And I got, like, fumbled up with, like, my binoculars zooming <laughs> in on the on the chest, which I think is what happened, was I took my binoculars, zoomed in, which activated, no. which opened the chest, because I was holding down the, the right mouse button. No. Or left, or right, left, no. Dude, I was wondering if, anyway. I, I was wondering if you saw, because you walked up here and you, like, paused. For a long oh, time. I saw the whole time. I was mocking oh. you. I was like, I was like, he thinks, he thinks I didn't see that. And I took my binoculars. I zoomed in, which turns out when you're holding down your spyglass and you hover over a chest, it opens. It opens. <laughs> Come, I was bamboozled. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. We got ourselves a kill and demise, and we are no longer a reaper. We are dead now. But Scar is a reaper. And the other trap we laid for Pearl, we're going to leave that. She may find it, she may not. Uh, but, yeah, if we get a second kill, that would be great.
Having gotten our demise kill, we were now free of the curse, and I decided that at this point, I really needed an iron farm, because a ton of stuff, including the crafter, which we're heavily focusing on this season, includes iron in the recipe, so I started to make a plan toward an iron farm to that end. Alright guys, so here's the plan. So on top of this hill, we get a good vantage point of like where everything's at, so let me get up here and show you what we got going on. So I want to make an iron farm, but we, first of all, we have to make a villager breeder. So I'm thinking this. Here's our house down here. You can see Etho, Tango, and then over here, we got... Bum, 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 we got Cleo over there. Uh, so what I'm thinking is we build a villager breeder up here on the top of the mountain. That way, anybody who wants to have villagers will be able to quickly and easily take their stuff... Are there villagers down to wherever they need them? So I can take them down here. Cleo, if she wanted some, could take them down to her spot down here. Uh, same with Tango and Etho if they wanted villagers. And anybody else, like in the plains over there, who wanted villagers. It's all downhill from here. So you don't need a whole bunch of powered rails and stuff like I've been putting down here. <laughs> to, yeah, get the villagers to a high point uh, or boost them up to where you need them. You just take them down from the hill. So that's what we're doing here. Bringing villagers up here to the top, gonna breed them up up here, and then take them down to wherever we need them in the future. So, we've made this big long rail line here, full of regular rails, which we got from mine shafts, and we got some powered rails, which we crafted up for some, from some gold. And this is running all the way down, almost to the village at this point. And we're just gonna bring all the villagers that we have in this village up here. All right, so let's move these guys. Let's see if we can get them in. We will walk here and then nudge them to the minecart. Maybe we can just turn it on and they'll get in. Oh, nice. Very good. Okay. So, excuse me. That guy is on his way, and that's the first guy we've moved in. Let's see how we can go here. He's gone out of <laughs> the area we can see him. Hopefully he's still going, otherwise we'll see him just like rebound back. I did not have too many of these powered rails, but it's looking like he's making it. I think he made it. Oh yeah, he made it. Very good. Okay, so now we just get this back. We go down, we can just ride down I guess. Might be a good way to do it. And we'll get the next one up here. Oh yeah, the breeding is happening. The breeding is happening, let's go. So we should see a baby villager. Oh, yep, there we go. Baby villager. So now that our villagers have bread, and we're also going to give them a bunch more carrots, so we're going to just drop a stack of carrots in there. And then we'll drop another stack of carrots later on, assuming this one goes well. But now that this thing is working, we should now get a few more villagers here, and then we can take those villagers out and put them in our farms over here so that's going to be fantastic i'm going to work on taking down this rail line because we shouldn't need actually i'll keep this part up let's say keep this part up that leads down here uh but then we're going to need to take it out this way so we got to take down everything from this point onward all right guys so we're now out and building the iron farm here uh, we're actually building this out of bone blocks because that's what we can easily come on now place it right jeez there we go uh, that's what we can easily get. Uh, this is designed by Voltrox, uh, which yeah, is a pretty simple iron design. There's like, I think, eight modules surrounding like a uh, four-way water stream that converges on the center, which for us is going to be like somewhere in here. Uh, we made it fairly close to our base because we want this to be like continuously running because it doesn't produce a whole lot of iron, but the iron it does produce, uh, we want that to be like a steady flow of iron. So... That's our plan here. Villagers stu should still be up there breeding up. Let's see if we can see a couple. Yeah, they should be still up there breeding up. Although I don't know if we're actually close enough for them to breed uh, at this distance. So we'll keep checking on them periodically. But I'm going to build this thing up. And then we got to get ready to move these villagers in.
All right, guys, as you can see, we got some villagers here. They are going to go into our iron farm. Uh, we have 10 villagers here in total. We need actually, I think like, how many? Like 24, I think, three in each one of those. And there's eight of them. Yeah, so 24 uh, in the iron farm. Now, I think I'm gonna have to break all these beds. And so what I'm gonna do is temporarily, I'm going to store these in a chest. And then we'll put them back down once we need to breed up again. But I just want to make sure that these villagers all go in and that there's no problems here. So we'll get these and put those there. We'll grab some of this. Alright, so there's all of our beds in there. Fantastic. Now if we can just get a villager close by here. Maybe. Potentially. Possibly. Is that guy close enough? We're, yep, he is. Okay, good. He's off. Let's see what happens here. Not too far, really, from uh, this village. So let's see if he gets ejected out. Oh, he fell down, dude! No! What the heck? He instantly just walked off! Okay, so he's gonna fall down there. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. Alright, he's hopefully not gonna die. We'll see. He did try to instantly walk back to his old village, though. But I think he should survive... Okay, he did survive down here. Interesting. Alright, guys. Attempt number two. We've now sort of enclosed the area, so the villager can't walk back to the old village. So, let's see if we can get this guy in here. Gonna just turn this on, and that's not a full block. Hang on. Actually need to switch that out for a full block. There we go. Now it should work. So, we come in. We turn this on. There we go. We get him. He goes out. He goes up. And I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen here, but let's see. Okay, he's in the in position, so now we just have to dig out the block and he should be good to go. We hope. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, and he has to also be ejected out. There we go. Okay, so we'll... Whoops, did not mean to hit him, but did. Okay. Down he goes. Okay, he's taking a lot of damage, but he's alive. That's the important thing. Alright, here we go. This guy is going to get caught. There we go. Gonna put him down there, and this should eject him out. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna punch this, and then we're gonna drop him in. Alright, beautiful. Alright, third one. Let's see what happens. So, villager gets put in. Perfect. Okay. And then we punch this. We break that. And now there's three in there. Okay. So, with three villagers now in there, all we have to do is ensure that they sleep properly. And if they do, like they all sleep in the bed and then go back to that same block, then that module will be done. And we just have to do the same thing, transporting villagers eight more times. Uh, and then we also need to put four zombies here. You can see these granite structures with the bubble column here. Uh, that's going to have the zombie bouncing up and down, so it loses line of sight occasionally with the villagers. Um, and, yeah, then the villagers will start to panic, and, uh, yeah, we'll basically uh, produce a golem. And the golem will be swept away by the water. Uh, so, yeah, that's a good, good sign. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take this stuff down here, because I think this should be... All we got to do for this module, and we got to basically move the rail line so that it goes there and there and there and there and there and there and there. So let's go ahead and do all that stuff. Make sure everything's working properly, and I'll be back. All right, guys. So our first golems have started spawning, as you can see. We got a single zombie over here that is bouncing up and down. He's also holding a rose. <laughs> uh, so yeah, these villagers are. Basically trying to panic, and the golem gets whisked away. Perishes in lava down there, so that's great. 
Uh, now we just got to get a few more zombies in here, and hopefully this thing will be done. All right, guys, so this is the final zombie we need to go into the farm. You can see behind me here, we should see a few iron golems, yep, coming in. Very good. So the farm is working very nicely. Sound is pretty big, though. And look at this. We already got a bunch of iron. Already. Several stacks. Just setting this thing up, so that's great. Uh, so let's get this guy in there. I think everything should be ready up here, so we're gonna let him go. And up he goes. And we'll meet him up there. Hopefully. Alright, so he should be kicked out. And then we can... Drop him here. Yes. So the villagers should see him now. On occasion, panic and spawn a golem. So there we go. Yeah, there we go. There's a golem spawning from this side. And then we should see one from this side as well. Uh, in probably any time now, really. <laughs> so, great. Yeah, you can see that golem spawning from each side. And they all just flow right into the center. So... That is pretty nifty, if I do say so myself. So, our iron farm is now complete. All we gotta do now is just basically add in a lightning rod on top, and that should be that. All right, everyone, so as you can see, our iron farm is up and operational. Golems are dropping in like crazy. We're getting a lot of iron and poppies through here. And we also have now added some redstone down below. Let me show you how that's gonna work. So, first of all, we got ourselves a item filter here. This is just simply Impulse's uh, item uh, filter that he made a long, long time ago, about 10 years ago. So this one's sorting iron ingots into this slice, and then this is sorting poppies into this slice right here. Uh, if I were to put an iron ingot in here, you see, yeah, it just gets sorted, and it goes down into the crafter. Now this crafter down here, this is the interesting part. So the crafter outputs a signal via this comparator here. So um, it outputs a signal via the comparator based on the number of slots filled. So if I do like this, now the comparator is outputting a single strength of one. If I do like this, now it's two, three, four, five, etc. And so what we're doing here is we're taking the single strength from this crafter, which is a number between one and nine, and subtracting it from the single strength from this other crafter over here, which I've set to single strength of eight. You can see the comparator reading out of that one. So basically, we've made it so that this crafter only outputs when all nine slots are, are filled, which is when all nine ingots are in the crafter, and it crafts like that. And I can just show you again. So we have eight right here, and once it goes over to nine, nine minus eight is one, so it outputs a single strength of one. It goes into the repeater, powers the block, which powers the crafter, which shoots it into the chest, and ultimately crafts the iron block. Sweet! <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, and then the poppies, the poppies we're just uh, putting into a, a chest here. Uh, we have to have more chests for the poppies because uh, the poppies, you can't have like a block of poppy or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, these uh, blocks of iron should be good. We should have a lot of space for these. Uh, and we can always add in, you know, another uh, chest down here. Like if we add like this, that will now uh, go into another chest if we wanted to. So... That's pretty cool. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is let's hook up this hopper chain and watch everything sort. Should be okay to do now at this point. So one, two, three, and then we can just fill in these. And now we should see this automatically. Boom. Boom. <laughs> automatically crafting up iron blocks. Oh yeah, that is a thing of beauty. Wow. This moment has been a long time coming, guys. Absolutely beautiful. You love to see it. You love to see it. Goodness me. That is just beautiful. So yeah, this will now just continuously uh, sort up uh, blocks of iron. Let's make sure we got poppies coming in as well. We do. Very good. Very good. Um, so that is the iron farm fully done. Obviously, we will uh, go ahead and... Yeah, make this aesthetically a lot more pleasing inside of here. But I just wanted to get this farm up and going. I wanted to get iron production going because iron is used in a ton of stuff throughout the game. So that's fantastic. And yeah, looking forward to making a lot of really cool stuff this season that involves a lot of iron blocks and iron 
products. So <laughs> that's absolutely fantastic. And the iron farm working great. Stuff will slowly start filtering down and get sorted. We'll just put this stuff in there. There we go. Cool. All right. So guys, with that, I think I'm going to call that an episode for today. We'll clean all this stuff up, get all of it, all the stuff uh, looking nice and beautified and everything. But uh, for now, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Farewell.